is geography. I'm sure you all took geography in high school, and if you hadn't, you've, you're taking it in college now. And I won't read you the definition, but the, the second bullet there really kind of says everything. Geography exists in everything we do. It's about understanding place and where you are and where you want to be and several things such as state capitals and state populations. Um, but maps are everywhere now, and everyone uses Google, and uh, it's, it's become its own work. You Google something when you want to find something. Now Google Maps is really taking over. Graham, um, this was created in response to a survey that we did of regional GIS employers. We went out and we said, what do you want in an employee? What are the key skills? Um, what would you consider crucial? And what do you consider not important for a GIS employee, an, an entry-level GIS employer, employee? And uh, with that response, we drafted a curriculum that meets the needs of employers in this area. Um, and it's designed to be a relatively short program, 26 to 28 hours. It's within um, the division of IT and business. It's designed to be interdisciplinary. You don't have to be just a GIS person. You can be a civil engineer. Um, and you can see the list here. You can use GIS for business, uh, environmental science. Um, you, you can do GIS on its own or even information technology. Here to talk to you about an exciting week in the city of Suffolk um, and how GIS responded to that week. The April 28th tornado that uh, struck in certain parts of the city. How we responded with uh, map products. How we responded with damage assessment. How we go, went in and actually surveyed that damage. How we tried to cover 21 of them issued for 14 localities. Uh, 31 of them had watches running at the head of time. They were the damage maps. We had about 500 structures that were damaged to some level in the, in the event. And it was our, one of our major tasks was to be able to keep people informed of where this damage occurred. Okay, then that's fine. The first person that touches that box gets the highest card. Okay, then the next group gets the second highest card. Okay, so what I did was when I was asked to set up a geocaching day, I um, thought about some various ways of doing this. Um, outside, somewhere around the, the campus, uh, there are five locations. First point is right over in the woods right back here. I mean, as you can see on here, point number four, right over in the woods. Well, first of all, the arrow, of course, now, for some yeah. is where we are right next to it. Really worried like falling down trees. It's like That's a good. Dead. Yeah. Is there another twenty in there? Yes. <laughs> See, you're taking us to all the places that you know nobody goes.